advocating for leaders to bring them forward to a place where they can transform and then therefore transform others and also organizations in the process. We've all been asked to do something that has been defined as be more inclusive. Mm. But what we're really talking about is a fundamental human connection across difference, across gender, across sexual identity, whatever it is. And when we talk about bringing our whole selves to the workplace, what that requires is that we learn to have relationships and connect across these differences in authentic, meaningful ways. So we can bring in relational capacities, which are actually very helpful for organizations because each individual person can, can apply those in their daily back and forth conversations. So things like um, staying playful, uh, considering context, holding uncertainty, mm. asking questions, listening with curiosity. These are all capacities which move us from focusing on roles and tasks to, for a moment at least, mm. centering relationships. Yeah. And this is the task that leaders need to take on as well because when we talk about people not bringing their whole selves, leaders are also not allowed to bring their whole selves. And in the moment that we liberate our culture to allow for that, we liberate our leaders. What I see in this is that some of us are working a heck of a lot harder to bring our full selves to work every day. You know, that we are literally sort of working that double time that I described. My friend calls it the tax that we pay on being different. And ultimately what it leads to, as we all know in this room, is retention problems with companies, right? Because at some point we're like, you know, this company really doesn't support me. I don't see anyone that looks like me or shares my story, and I'm really not sure I can thrive here. And that's, I think that accounts for the fact that we haven't seen a change in the numbers for women and people of color just to isolate two groups at that 10 to 15 years in mark where we really, really need to stay because that's the jumping off point for executive leadership and executive management positions, which is where we really, really don't see ourselves. I'm attending in, in Atlanta the 3% conference and um, I've been going to this conference for years and eventually as I wrote my books I was invited up on the stage more and more and this has happened as I've evolved into um, the thought leader platform that I have. So it's a great honor to be invited to be on stage now but it has been an evolution. It's been something I've worked on like many of my favorite conferences from the back of the room, from the breakout room to the main stage. There is an evolution that I want to go through and I am doing with Adrian Lawrence, for example, on my team, who's this brilliant consultant that we get to work with and who work with, works with our clients. She now can join me on stage and she can drive the conversation and I can participate but she gets to be the expert and I was so thrilled to be able to share this stage with her. This is really important. Investigate your impact. Check in with people to say, is my intent coming through? What is the impact for you? Um, what would solidarity look like? What would support look like? I'd also would recommend, we don't assume that we know what support will look like for people and not you know, sort of be the savior riding in on the, on the horse and saying, well, I know what needs to happen here. Checking in with those who are affected, you are only an ally if somebody in an affected community calls you an ally. So I get questions sometimes about uh, who I am and how I identify and what authority I have to do this work. And um, sometimes I'll, I walk on stage and address that right away because I understand that some people in the audience are saying, this is our diversity speaker. <laughs> so I need to win people over very quickly. And I have certain ways that I do that um, through vulnerability, through storytelling, through making visible what is invisible about me and my diversity dimensions. And doing that quickly and role modeling how, it's not easy, but how straightforward it can be to do that. Because it gives permission to other people to do the same. When I'm up on stage and I do this, people in the audience say, oh, you know, maybe I'm overcomplicating this. This is a way I could lead too. When Jennifer Brown Consulting's team reached out to me and essentially extended the invitation to be a part of that team, I initially was a little bit reluctant 
because I saw, hey, this is Jennifer Brown, it's another white face in a diversity, equity, and inclusion space, it can't really be that true to diversity. And I'm really, really glad I had the opportunity because once I got the chance to work with Jennifer Brown and her amazing team of colleagues and to join among the ranks, I realized that Jennifer gets it. She not only hires talented people, if I may say so myself, but she lets them do what they're great at. Having Jennifer bring me on stage with her to join in in this conversation, what it really does is it lends me credibility on a larger platform. Because we're in such a chaotic, uncertain work environment, so I would also you know, ask us all to sort of step up our proactiveness around all the things we've talked about today. Make sure we don't lose these generations of amazing talent. Definitely using your resources, recognizing your privilege, reaching out and getting to know people, giving your time, giving the things that you are grateful to have and the knowledge you have, mm -hmm. that can go a long way. So thank you so much. Thank you, Adrian. And so what she is doing in essence is using her privilege, using her opportunity to open doors for individuals who look like me. And that's something that really speaks to me when it comes to having a co-conspirator, a collaborator, an accomplice, a true ally, because she's essentially walked the walk to get where she is and she's opening doors for us as we continue to move forward in our efforts in DEI.